When people think of America's bombers in World War II, names like the B-17 Flying Fortress or the B-29 Super Fortress come to mind. Yet the real workhorse of the skies was another aircraft, the B-24 Liberator. More than 18,000 of these machines were built, making it the most produced American bomber of the entire war. From the frozen skies of Europe to the blazing heat over North Africa, across the Pacific, the South China Sea, and even into Soviet airspace, the Liberator was everywhere. When it first appeared, the B-24 represented cutting-edge design. Its unique Davis wings, a long, narrow, high-efficiency structure, gave it remarkable speed, range, and payload capacity for its time. It could fly farther, faster, and carry more bombs than almost anything else in the Allied arsenal. But it wasn't without flaws. The B-24's service ceiling was lower, and its airframe more delicate compared to the rugged B-17. Crews often said it was harder to fly, but when handled well, it delivered devastating precision. The Liberator's versatility extended beyond bombing runs. It patrolled oceans, hunting German U-boats with radar and depth charges. British Coastal Command pilots flying B-24 seconds destroyed 72 submarines, a vital contribution to winning the Battle of the Atlantic. Though it never achieved the same legendary status as its famous cousins, the B-24 Liberator was a silent giant, an uncelebrated hero that carried the Allies toward victory, one mission at a time.